Hello everybody, Patrick Glenn Nichols, Muscle Car Barn Finds, and I'm out here today in Middle Tennessee on a piece of property where there's a 1970 Chevelle Supersport riding away, and I knew my viewers would like to see this car, so it's what I do. I travel around looking for these cars, um, so I know you guys would like to see this. This is kind of a sad case. It's kind of past the point of return. More than likely, this car probably will never be saved, so... But at some point, you know, it may serve as a nice parts car for somebody. But I started out on the street because I know a lot of my viewers like to see the surroundings of where these cars are sitting. So we're going to walk here just past this old building here. And I'll show you where this car has been sitting since, I believe, 1991 is what the license plate reads. So here we are. What we have here is a Code 50 Gobi Beige. B with black vinyl top. I do believe the stripes have been added. 756 trim. The, the doors are froze shut and the hood will barely open. So I'll go around the car as, as best that I can and show you this car. I believe this is a mid to late year. I think the cow tag said, if I remember correctly, I think it's a late year. It's July. So this is a very late 70 Chevelle from the Arlington, Texas assembly plant and it has one plastic and one metal inner fender it's kind of an indication of an Arlington assembly plant 70 Chevelle which they were noted for doing that quite often so you can see inside the black 756 bucket seats and the automatic still reside in this car the SS 396 on the fenders still remain super sport wheels all the way around why this car was parked i'll i do not know the top is caved in and there's been debris placed on the top of it which helps the top to cave in even quicker but if you will look under the hood here we see we have the correct flat intake the correct air conditioning the correct heavy duty cooling top plate for the radiator this may be a numbers matching car. I have no idea why a person would do this. I know this is negative, so try to keep your comments positive as possible on this. I mean, this is what I do. I search out these cars. People want to see this, although it's not pretty. It's not always pretty. And we have the code for the engine tuning decal I believe that's an A X I believe T3 headlights remain other than I think one is missing the front bumper on this car seems to be pretty much in perfect condition so this would be a, a nice parts car for somebody. I'm not sure it will be fixed, but I've seen worse fixed repair. So pretty original car to be just parked out here and left for dead. Again, we got super sport wheels all the way around. Do my best to show you inside the car. Steering wheel of course has been changed bucket seats remain Gobi beige code 50 for the B black vinyl top SS 396 with air conditioning from Arlington Texas sitting right here purchased new capital Chevrolet and again I'm just outside of Nashville Tennessee and that's where capital Chevrolet was Time. Okay, we've got July of 1991, so I'm going to say that's more than likely sometime in 1991 or 90 when this car was put out here. A lot of rust, top is in terrible shape, but it's just right on the verge of a car too far gone and maybe a car that you would repair. If this is a numbers matching car, 
and that would lean it a little more towards being repaired. We have no cal induction, of course. We got the correct washer jar on this side. Again, this side is the plastic inner fender. On this side, we have the metal. That should be the 7040204 Quadrajet. We have a two triple zero distributor, which is correct for the 396 350 horsepower automatic. This would be the PD automatic radiator. We have correct 70 Chevelle Super Sport valve covers. We have the provisions for the TCS switch on this side. And you can see the wire loom is in front of the bolt on this side. It has the little step down on the back side of the valve cover on the rear. We've got the correct gas line, but it looks like it's been cut at some point and a rubber hose has been added. Extremely rare four row radiator, 165 radiator fan shroud is here, although it is in not perfect condition. There's a definitely a very expensive fan shroud. Quite a bit of items still remain on this car. And we got starting fluid. 811 water pump still resides. We still have the correct alternator bracket. And the master cylinder has been changed. And we have no power steering with air conditioning, which is a little odd. But that's what we see. Definitely a rotting, decaying 70 Chevelle Super Sport. A lot of people would have loved to have had this car. Still do. Still would. Why it's been put out here is anyone's guess. Not exactly the right thing to do. But that's why we have barn finds, you know, like we've said in the past. No, not everybody has a nice garage. But... I will say on record that we should try to do a little better than this, whoever we are. Because this, we know, will be end up with the car never being back on the road again. This type of storage. At some point, I hope at least somebody purchases this car for at least a parts car and gets it off of this property and uses a lot of this stuff. Or, or repair the car. If it's numbers matching engine and trans, then I would say fix the car. Pretty incredible piece to just be sitting out in somebody's backyard. I'm Patrick Glenn Nichols with Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds, as most of you know. If you need assistance with your 1970 Chevelle SS, I assist individuals in all phases with the 1970 Chevelle, whether it's inspections, endorsing for the market, assisting people with purchases, assisting people with selling their car, whatever it may be, you may contact me at pnichols26 at Yahoo. Patrick Lynn Nichols, Muscle Car Barn Finds on Facebook and YouTube. I appreciate all of your participation. Try to keep the comments positive on this one. I know this is a negative car. A lot of negative comments can come about when a car is left to de decay and ruin and rot like this car. But let's try to look at the positive side of it the best that we can. I really appreciate it. So like, share, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate all of that. If you need to contact me, please do. Do not hesitate. Thanks very much. More videos on the way.